But the dog means me if you get it, say, Moi, Dita, Eve, and Dita. Yeah, so this is an appeal to uh, all you dog owners, and uh, it's called, What Would Caesar Milan Do? Because this happens to Dita quite regularly. Now, Coco's a friendly dog, and she's well-trained. Uh, the problem is, is, is she gets confused sometimes with when, she, when we encounter strangers, because my roommate, although she's well-meaning, she spoils her when she gets home, so all the, all the work that I do with Coco during the day goes out the window. So I've trained Coco, if you go like make a fist and, and put it near her nose, even a perfect stranger, she will sit and give a paw. Because what, how I've trained her is sometimes there's a treat in there and sometimes there isn't. And even when she's very, very excited, because she likes people, uh, she'll do that. She will sit. But what do, I, and I tell that to, to people if, if, you know, they want to talk about the dog, right? Because some people want to say, is it okay if I greet your dog? And I say, yeah, but be careful because if you just put your hand out, she will, she'll jump, she'll get excited because she'll think you're giving her a treat. So I said, please make a fist. I don't say hit her in the nose. I said, put it near her nose for some reason. People are more afraid to make a fist. Well, you know, you're going to, if, if Coco would bite, which she never has, and she doesn't, uh, you know, you're going to get more hurt if you put an open hand. So they don't even listen to a simple instruction to say, calm down, make a fist, extend it to her nose, she will sit and give you a paw. And she will do that. She has never failed not to do that. But they, they don't do that. So they hold out their hand, Coco gets excited, wags, and she, 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 she likes to jump up. Now, I've worked hard on her. She doesn't jump up very, as much often, but she's 100 pounds, and then, you know, a 100-pound dog, especially if she jumps up on a kid and will knock the kid flat on her ass. She, she's knocked me flat on my ass. But they, no, one, no one listens. Anyway, and when I walk her, I, I, I have a, about a 20-foot rope, but I, I have it so it's about 10 inches, so she's, she's right by my knee. She's right by my knee. So I'm walking her this morning, and this guy comes right at her. I go, oh, here, here we go again. So I tighten it up. I, I actually go off the sidewalk. I go onto the grass on the grassy knoll. Man, not, I don't live in Dallas, but it's it kind of a grassy knoll that I went up. What's this guy do? He's got two feet. He can walk. He can go another two feet to the edge of the side. No, he walks straight at us. So Coco jumps up. The guy freaks out, starts yelling at me. He says, you know, control your dog. I said, my dog is under control. I said, what kind of Id idiot? walks into a 100-pound 100, uh, 100 dog and a 210-pound, 6-foot-1 man walks right into them. I said, you walk right into us. So what do you expect her to do? Uh, this happens almost every day. I, I go out of my way to make sure to try and avoid these situations. I even, I, I, I got off the sidewalk. I don't, no, I'm not, I don't act like an entitled jerk. You know, I was here first. No, I went up on the grass, you know, a couple of feet. So he had, he had a good four or five feet. Okay? And he, he walks right at me, brushes, brushes my shoulder. So, of course, you know, uh, most dogs, you know, I'm the alpha, you know, they, they're part of the pack, you know, hey, what, do you, you know, look at it from the dog's point of view, and this is why, what would Caesar Milan say, you know? Well, you're, you're coming right at, right at the alpha. She's a beta or whatever. What's, what's the dog's instinct? Well, I, what, it, it, it wasn't even that, that aggressive, but it's like, what are you doing, right? You know? I don't know. Amazing me. I don't know. Um, it seems there are just a lot of people out there that, that can't read, um, read English, and they're living in English-speaking countries, and uh, they actually can't, they must be deaf as well and not understand spoken English, because they'll answer you in English, but if you say, no, don't extend your hand, make a fist. They can't seem to comprehend that. So uh, not only are North Americans failing miserably in mathematics, uh, they know who the Kardashians are, but they can't do three times three times three, and they can't understand the simplest instructions. So what are you going to do? Please help me out, Caesar. Give me some advice. Happy plucking, maze me. Happy drawing. Happy dog training. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what a world we live in. It's full of clowns. <laughs> really, it is full of clowns. Have a good day.